off at the Murph, the Big Q, the Vince Lombardi Trophy in the company of Brett Favre. But with John Oway rested, Joe Gibbs, Doug Williams, Eddie Robinson flipped the coin. And it was right away the Packers won the toss. And their offense, after Brett Favre barely avoided a sack on the second play of the game, got going. Favre to Antonio Freeman, 13 yards. And then it was Dorsey Levins running at the linebackers, Tom. Yeah, what a great first drive by the Green Bay Packers. You see the Broncos get a little too far outside. You see Dorsey Levins powering up inside. So the Broncos would have to make some adjustments. And the same spot again for Levins. And the Brian 12, 11, 10-yard runs on the first drive. Then Favre started feeling it. He had a big game and a big hookup all day with Antonio Freeman, 13 yards. Next play from the 27. Favre, Freeman, touchdown the feed in, 7-0 the pack on the first drive of the game, Tom. This is a great throw and catch by Brett Favre and Antonio Freeman. But you're going to see Tyrone Braxton right there. He spot shadowed. When he comes up, Toward the slot, you see him cheat just a little bit. And what a great job of Freeman adjusting to get by him. Just And look at the great throw right at the back of the end zone. Yeah, but you see, Denver has this running back named Terrell Davis coming home to San Diego where he started Lincoln High School. And very early on, a recurring theme, a run up the left side for 27 yards. This is Denver's first drive. He needs a little rest. He suffered a migraine. But John Elway, look at John o Tom, you remember when? I remember when. You know, he ran today a lot like he ran earlier in his career. That was down to the 2-2 plays later. Terrell Davis, TD, first of his three touchdowns, one drive each team, 7-7, and the pinball machine was on. Next Packer drive, quite a change, because Tyrone Braxton, after Favre was pressured, through a floater, Braxton makes the pick. And then here comes TD. Yeah, this is called Toss 14. You see it looks like it's going outside. Terrell Davis cuts it back to the four hole. And then only Terrell Davis can run downhill at you like that. This is the same drive, second quarter. They go 98 yards. They walk it because they're on the one-yard line. And Elway doesn't walk it. There's nobody near him. Touchdown, Broncos, 14 to 7, Denver. Next Packer drive. Steve Atwater had a big game. He popped far with the blitz, and Neil Smith recovers downfield. Broncos couldn't move the ball with Davis' sideline, but the second longest field goal in Super Bowl history. 51 yards, good for Jason Elam. Two turnovers, 10 points, 17 to 7, Denver. So. Brett Favre and company with seven and a half to go in the second quarter. Deep in their own territory, a huge play by Chamora to hold on again. That's Atwater with the big pop. Favre, seven plays later. They make six first downs in this drive. Freeman, that was Chamora with 22 then. Here's the TD to Freeman with the beautiful float, Tom, to make it 17-14. Actually, pretty good coverage by Tyrone Braxton, but you can see he only left him a little bit of space at the back of the end zone. Tyrone does a good job. He reads Chamura coming out, does a good job of picking him up. Now, he's playing the back of the end zone to help him, and Favre and Chamura just happen to squeeze it in. So it's a 96-yard drive. It took up almost all the last seven and a half minutes of the half of the 17-14 Denver halftime. So Terrell Davis, after really missing the second quarter, playing with well what was thought as a concussion but it's a migraine and the pitch on the first play of the third quarter and davis fumbles butler and gilbert brown force it and the packers are covered so far to robert brooks who did not have a big day at all steve atwater is right there but cannot quite handle it it was too easy almost yeah great read off the double zone i think he was thinking about where he was going to go with the football once he had it he didn't tuck it away pack had a field goal by longwell they took it off the board because of a penalty but they couldn't get in the end zone longwell 27 yarder were tied at 17 and then Darian gordon fumbles and it looked like the tide was turning well we knew that it was going to be a game of field position and this could have been critical except there was a penalty on the packers and then rod smith fair catches the pump but there's an illegal fair catch and at this time it was settling into <laughs> we're getting a little sloppy we're not really sure who won of this thing was it a questionable call Tom he waved did he? well I, I thought he got it up and you know th that's a judgment call by the official well so the pack of the Broncos buried and as the Packers went almost the entire length of the field Elway the bullet to Shannon sharp 11 yards in double coverage then Terrell Davis running up the middle for a bruising eight yards and very rarely did the first guy to get the TD ever make the tackle Elway this was a huge play to easy Ed McCaffrey over the middle into Green Bay territory 36 yards third and six from the 12 Elway 
And again, Tom, the scramble. And what a great effort at the end. That was the only way he was going to get the first down. He goes through three Packers, and he's the only one actually standing at the end of that. You see him make the nice dive. You see him spot the first down marker, and then he's going to go through everybody to go get it. The old whirly bird. And that sets up Terrell Davis. Touchdown. Broncos regain the lead 24-17. Two TDs for TD. Ensuing kickoff. Gordon fumbled, but it was negated, and Antonio Freeman fields it. He's hit by Tony Velan, and Tim Frequent Flyer McKire <laughs> falls on the ball for the Broncos. First and 10 as a result of the turnover. Three turnovers for the Pack. Packer 24 yard line. Elway. Picked off by Eugene Robinson from Hartford, Connecticut. And a big play for the Packers, and they're back in business. Fourth quarter. Pack driving, far to Brooks, draws the interference call on Darian Gordon. Two plays later, far to Freeman, down to the 14-yard line, 17-yard pickup. Next play, far, Freeman, touchdown, tied at 24, fourth quarter. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a Super Bowl for the ages. Packers and Broncos exchange positions. Packers punting from their end zone. Hendrick did not have a big game. Gordon with the fair catch at the Packer 49, 3.27 to go. We wondered if John Elway would have a chance in the fourth quarter. Well, he had a big chance because Terrell Davis stuffed left side, but a flag is down, and it's a face mask. Again, judgment call. A lot of people thought this should have been a five-yard penalty, but you can see right there, maybe that's what the official saw. Terrell Davis's head snap around. Elway, play action. To the fullback, they were not looking for Howard Griffith, and what a block by McCaffrey. 21 yards, down to the eight. Neil Smith and company from the sideline say, we just wanted John to have a chance. We could be somebody. We can be contenders. Second and goal. Terrell Davis, a Super Bowl record, third touchdown. Rushing, 31-24, Broncos. So Brett Favre would have to be, well, John Elway. <laughs> Could he rally the defending champ Packers? 35 seconds left down to the 32 to Brooks. Atwater and Brooks collide. Both injuries. Both teams had to spend timeouts, automatic injuries inside the two minutes. Both players okay, but they had to come off. Last chance, fourth and six. John Moms Mobley breaks up the pass for Chamora. The celebration ensues. John Elway, wondering if he'd ever have this chance. Shannon Sharp and the Broncos, ecstatic. They carry off number seven and a well-earned Vince Lombardi trophy. The John Elway, Mike Shanahan, Pat Bull and the owner, John Beak, the GM, the entire Bronco organization, and the entire AFC. The Broncos win it 31 to 24, 30 carries, 100 